part of the band program. I play the flute in the band. I learned about architecture from one of my friends who did um, the Cal Poly Summer Architecture Workshop. I'm applying for architecture uh, because I want to become a sustainable architect in the future. Um, the programs, um, compared to most other majors, it's fairly selective. Um, due to the amount of work that goes into it and that five-year program. For architecture, it's a little more complicated. You have to do all the supplemental work that's normally required. And then on top of that, um, most uh, programs require um, a portfolio, which is a compilation of art and just visual and visual media that you've done, whether it's like sculptures or paintings or drawings. Um, and, and among the portfolio, you also have to do other supplemental materials that go into like a specific architecture application. In my portfolio, um, for most of them, it was 15 because there was a cutoff. But my my largest one was roughly like between 15 and 17. It's a lot of um, extra time and uh, for the supplementals and a lot of supplemental questions that are extra for um, architecture relate to traveling because um, a lot of the schools that uh, have architecture programs um, think it's really important to have had traveled before you go to architecture school because then you have this experience and it's very it's very helpful going into architecture. After college I would well, I'd have to do a lot of internships because to become an accredited architect, um, you need to have a specific number of hours. But once I've, I've become an accredited architect, I hopefully would be able to own my own architecture firm um, that would be based in California. Most times I get a lot of support. People are thrilled that I'm doing architecture. And most times there are a bunch of follow-up questions, mostly related to the 